Before the crash, XL Airways Flight 888, the captain tries to fly out of trouble. He increases power while pushing his side stick forward to bring the nose down. It's a textbook maneuver to prevent stalling, but it doesn't work. The plane continues to pitch up until it loses lift and falls from the sky. Investigators need to know why. The flight plan calls for flying the plane through a series of 35 in-flight tests that make up what's known as an acceptance flight. OK, get your power and idle. A computer simulation helps investigators analyze Flight 888's final flight check. OK, here we go. Captain Keppel deliberately slows his plane down for the test, but the computer lets the speed drop too far, below the minimum needed to keep the plane in flight. Pause Investigators it. notice a warning on the cockpit flight display moments before the crash. There. What is that? They learn that the warning is supposed to alert the pilots the flight computer is no longer helping to fly the plane. It is switched to full manual mode. The warning comes on when the plane's computer gets conflicting information. The frozen sensors are telling the computer the plane is flying level while other onboard sensors are relaying its extreme nose-up attitude. One must be wrong. The plane gave the pilot's control right here. It seems the crew of Flight 888 either didn't see or didn't understand the warning being sent by the computer. Stick forward. The pilot uses his side stick to try to lower the nose. Stick forward. In manual mode, that's just not enough. The crew also needs to adjust the trim wheel for a more dramatic change of pitch. But they never do. Investigators need to know why such an experienced crew Turn failed right, to act about. quickly when their plane was in danger. They suspect one reason may be the unusual nature of this flight, an acceptance flight designed to test the plane's limits. OK, that's good. During the turn, let's roll to 33, then to 45. OK. Every time they test the plane. Hands off now. The automation fixes the problem. Yep. Yes. Voila. It's all good. Even when they hear alarms, they don't worry. We need to overspeed. You just want to hear the overspeed warning? They're expecting the plane to correct the problem. There it is. You can cancel the warning if you like. They trusted their plane too much. Stick forward. Flaps up. Flaps up. With their plane in a catastrophic stall, the seven men aboard Flight 888 were doomed. Oh, God! Oh, God! Damn it! The official accident report highlights several contributing factors, including the decision to perform flight checks at low altitude. Yeah, we need to go slow with recovery. The report also calls for clearer rules governing acceptance flights and more training for stall recovery.